Huawei is the second largest phone manufacturer in the world, and with the launch of the P30 Pro, it's bringing out the big guns to clinch that number one spot. It's the P30 Pro's look that first caught my attention. It really stands out in a way that others simply don't. The way that light blue blends into the pink on my breathing crystal review model is simply beautiful, and it makes this phone way more eye-catching than anything else that's out there. It was in fact the pretty tones of the P30 Pro that drew the most attention in my testing time, even against the Galaxy S10 Plus. And this is the most expensive ceramic white model. Against the P30 Pro, it doesn't really compete on the prettiness front. It's built from glass and metal, and as such, it has a satisfying heft to it when you pick it up. Some of Huawei's earlier phones felt a little cheap to hold, but this thing feels anything but. Of course, as it is glass, you'll want to avoid dropping it, a very real possibility given the inherent slipperiness of all glass designs. There is at least IP68 waterproofing to keep it safe from spilled drinks. There's no headphone jack on the P30 Pro, and the fingerprint scanner is now built into the display. It works well and recognizes my prints more often than not. I found it marginally more accurate than the Galaxy S10's in-screen fingerprint scanner, though neither are as consistently accurate as a more standard optical scanner. There's also no micro SD card slot, as Huawei has again opted for its own nano memory card format for expanding the storage. Those cards are more expensive and much harder to come by than standard micro SD cards. So do be aware that you will not be able to use your existing micro SD cards in this phone. But turn the phone over and we will see the real hero features of the P30 Pro, the camera. You get a 20 megapixel super wide angle lens, a regular 40 megapixel lens, and a weird looking square lens that uses a prism based periscope system to achieve a huge zoom. You can zoom in not only five times, but also a whopping 10 times without that much loss in quality. I was skeptical when Huawei first explained this to me, but it actually works quite well. You can zoom into a scene a huge amount, getting up close on details simply out of reach of any other phone camera. It's not completely lossless as Huawei claims, some small details are still a bit fuzzy, but if you compare the P30 Pro zoom shot to a shot from the S10 Plus's 2x telephoto lens, Huawei's really is leaps and bounds in front. The P30 Pro also plays an absolute blinder when it comes to night shots. The P20 Pro was already one of my top low-light phone picks thanks to its incredible night mode. Thankfully, that standalone camera mode is still on board, capturing shots with much more shadow detail and controlled highlights than almost any other phone is able to manage. But the P30 Pro takes that low-light even further. With the combination of a new type of image sensor and a high ISO speed, this phone is able to capture images in situations where even my eyes can't see properly. Locked in my bathroom in almost total darkness, the P30 Pro was still able to get a bright, if rather grainy image. In the same scene, the S10 Plus's shot came out looking like something taken in the 19th century. This new super low light skill isn't a dedicated mode though, and it can be a little hit and miss on when the phone actually applies it. If there's almost no light in a scene, say in a park at night where there are no street lamps, it'll kick in and brighten up that scene. If, however, you're taking a shot of a street at night with street lamps casting at least some ambient light, there's almost no difference in what you'll find on the P30 Pro than what you'll find on the S10. Everyday shots from the standard camera, though, are decent, if not sometimes a little uninspiring. Against the S10 Plus, the P30 Pro's images have more muted colors, and it doesn't balance highlights and shadows quite as well, sometimes leaving bright skies looking a little washed out. The display has a 2340 by 1080 pixel resolution, which is a step below the maximum resolution of the Galaxy S10 Plus. But I doubt you'll really notice much difference. The screen stretches right to the edges of the phone, broken only by a tiny teardrop notch at the top, just big enough to house that front-facing camera. I do like this solution. It's very unobtrusive when you're watching full-screen videos or playing big, dramatic games. It's a smaller notch than the S10 Plus's hole punch cutout for the two front-facing cameras, but having used both, I don't really have much of a preference between them. It really shouldn't be your primary decision when deciding between these two phones. The 
P30 Pro runs Huawei's latest Kirin 980 processor with 8GB of RAM. Now, in benchmark terms, the phone isn't a match of the S10 Plus. But benchmarks really don't tell the whole story, and I can say with confidence that this phone is far from slow. Navigation around the interface is swift and lag-free. Videos stream without issue and playing graphically demanding games like Asphalt 9 Legends and PUBG was a breeze. It runs Android 9 Pie at its core, but Huawei has slapped the latest version of its EMUI interface over the top. Now, I'm not totally fussed about this software. It's fine to use, but it does remove the app drawer, which I find a little bit frustrating, though you can put that back in the settings should you wish. Charging the capacious 4,200 mAh battery is done via USB-C and it's equipped with a super fast charge, which will take the phone from empty to 70% in only 30 minutes of charging, as long as you use the bundled 40 watt charger. It's actually one of my highlights of the phone as I often find myself forgetting to charge much during the day and wanting to give it a bit of a boost before I head on a night out. All this needs is a quick boost to give me enough juice back to last the evening without having to carry an external battery pack with me. Not that running out of power is much of an issue with this thing anyway. I found the phone would comfortably last a full day of reasonably heavy usage, often with a bit left to get me into the next morning. It's still a phone I'd want to charge every night just to be safe, but that's pretty much the case with every smartphone on the market. And if you do happen to have juice to spare, then you can always hand some of it off to a friend in need using the two-way wireless charging. Just hold any Qi enabled device at the back of the phone to send the power across, just as you can on the Galaxy S10 phones. At £899 in the UK, this phone doesn't come cheap, but its astonishing low light and zoom skills, its colourful design, and its awesome battery life mean you're getting a whole lot of phone for your money. But what do you think of the P30 Pro? Is a whopping zoom and great low light skills enough? to put you over buying the Galaxy S10 Plus? Or do you have another phone in mind entirely? Do make sure to let us know in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe to CNET for a lot more.